One of my favorite guests is back with me this morning, and that is Lloyd, the bike tour man. Now, a philosophy that he lives by is to love what you do, do what you love, and the world will come to you. The world definitely comes to Lloyd each year. He shows tourists a side of Key West that many don't get the chance to see. Lloyd, thank you for being back with me this morning. Thank you, Jennifer. Or Jenna. <laughs> it's okay. You can call me whatever you'd like, Lloyd. Thank you. I what feel do you like have? The world has come to me that I'm here on your show. <laughs> nice. Lloyd, what do you have for me this morning? I have lots of stuff. Uh, I have my famous conch shell. I have my machete. We have coconuts. We have all sorts of little items about Key West and uh, the part of Key West that I show off on the tour, which is a very uh, the natural side of the island, botanical, the beautiful, the fruit trees, the flowers, and also interesting people, characters, artists, craftspeople, whoever, people with their dogs out on the streets of Key West, away from all the commercial parts of Key West, and that's the part of Key West I represent. That's the part of Key West I fell in love with 40 years ago when I came here, and when I thought up the idea of a bike tour 20 years ago, I decided that someone passionately has to share this part of Key West with the visitors to Key West and the world. Well, I love it, Lloyd, and there couldn't be a person who is more passionate about Key West than you. I don't think there is. I don't think it's possible. Well, <laughs> there are probably a few out there. Um, I guess I, I, I'm extremely fortunate that I was brought to Key West. Um, I had an older brother here, so I came to visit him, never left, you know, typical Key mm -hmm. West story. Um, maybe not that typical, I threw my car keys in the ocean and I got a bicycle and then I thought up the bike, uh, the bike ride idea and uh, so Wait, here we are. Wait, Lloyd, you really threw your keys in the ocean? Yes, yes, uh, when I first got to Key West. Uh, you, why? Yeah, well, because a guru <laughs> came up to me and said uh, that I didn't need a car and all you needed was a bicycle so I, you know, you I was down at Smathers Beach and I took the keys and I just threw them in the ocean and you know, I got a bike. And then, <laughs> Did you like your car? Um, it was an old junky car. Okay. We're talking about 1971 here. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what kind of car it was because then you don't know how old I am. And I think it's so great, Lloyd, that you got your start in Key West by throwing your keys in the ocean and then starting up a bike tour business. And your bike tour business, it's going so well. And, it, and that's no surprise to me because you're the, you're the tour guide. Well, thank you, and uh, it's it's going okay. Could I could uh, I have a lot of room for uh, the more the merrier, you know? Uh, uh, but not just for the money, you know. Uh, I know a lot of people say that they're not in just for the money. No, I have truly a desire, you know, behind what I do. It's it's mm -hmm. way more than just making a living. I'm I'm extremely fortunate. Uh, I believe that's what an artist is a person who who uh, has a passion and and has found a vehicle to express that and can make a living at that. that mm -hmm. That's what an, uh, an artist is, or at least a, an artist that can make a living at <laughs> There's a lot that can't, so I'm really lucky about that. Absolutely. Now, Lloyd, the last time you were on the show, you actually played a song for me with the conch shell. Can you do it this morning? Well, I got lots of songs. I was, uh, I don't know, what would, you, would you like to hear, uh, let's say, uh, an old song called The Alley Cat or uh, Your Boyfriend's Back? My your boyfriend's back, but actually <laughs> I, don't, I don't have one, and uh, but it'd be better if it's your boyfriend. Okay. How about we do your boyfriend's back this morning, okay? No, your boyfriend's okay, back. Okay, my boyfriend's back this morning. my boyfriend, we're calling it your boyfriend. Okay, let's hear it, Lloyd. My, your boyfriend's back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> My boyfriend's back. I love it. If people aren't awake already in the morning, uh, now yeah. they are after hearing that. That takes talent. Learn how to play a song in a conch yeah. shell. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lloyd. And I you got more talent than that. <laughs> Tip I, of the iceberg. I know you do. You were telling me about some of these items earlier, Lloyd. Oh, and yeah. these are all things, I mean, when you take people on a tour, you show them all of these things. Tell me about a typical, yeah, yeah. typical tour. Well, typical tour takes us uh, away from traffic. I mean, wherever there's cars and tourist attractions and 
places that everyone sort of knows about or, you know, stores, busy areas, I go the other way. Uh -huh. So I sort of, uh, I'm like a, a orangutan dropping deeper into the rainforest to avoid human civilization, <laughs> you know. And so, and, and Key West really, I mean, there's a lot of emphasis. I mean, I want to bring people to Key West to see the natural part of Key West. And a lot of people come here for the diving and the ocean. But a lot of people don't realize that our, the land, the island itself, is a, trop a tropical paradise. I, I know the word paradise is used uh, quite often. But if you really investigate, which is what I do, I take people on a field trip. It's an investigation through the back streets of QS. And I point out and show and give people samples, tastes, smell the flowers, eat the fruit. I pick a lot of fruit. I'm a fruit picking mother. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, that's okay. Wherever there's fruit, I go get it. That's good. That's Might healthy. Be in your yard. <laughs> I usually ask permission. <laughs> well, that's very healthy, so that's a good thing. Well, we keep picking that fruit. Mangoes, baby. Mango. Well, what did you bring? I don't have any now because it's you the end of the season. Mangoes. I have this. I have. First of all, these items right here, like this. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? I have no idea. It's a seed. Okay. It's one of the largest seeds in the world. It's from a palm tree. I actually got it at Nancy's, Nancy Forrester's little secret garden. She mm -hmm. has the parrots. It's one of the places I go to mm -hmm. on the tour. I stop. We get off the bikes, go visit Nancy. She has rescued parrots and rare trees and plants. And she's a wonderful woman. She takes care of these. She rescued these animals, takes care of these parrots like they're her children. Mm -hmm. And they're very special little people themselves with wings. <laughs> and you get to hold one for photographs. So it's oh. a really cool part of the tour. Very this cool. palm tree she planted 50 years ago, it's from the Amazon. And it's a nut. It's a palm nut. And it mm -hmm. actually has nuts inside it that parrots can get into. Big parrots can mm -hmm. strip that, get into the nuts, and eat them. Very it's nice. called the Big Cojona Palm Tree. Okay, well, I won't try and eat the nuts well, out of it. You can keep that morning. one as a souvenir. <laughs> what about this? What is that this? looks like an instrument is what it looks mm. like. It's actually a fid. It's a, it's a, uh, a boater's tool. It's mm -hmm. made out of lignum vitae, mm -hmm. which is the hardest wood in the world. And okay. it's native to Key West. This mm -hmm. tree is in Key West. This tree is from Key West. Wow. Original native tree. It's the hardest wood on earth. And this is a, an instrument, uh, uh, an old boater's tool to get knots out of ropes. You Fid, could do damage. You, you can use it for a club and whack somebody. With this. That's right. Let's it doesn't not float. whack anybody this morning. <laughs> it's one of the only woods in the world that sinks. Okay. Well, something that you have that's really scaring me this morning is what's on your lap right what now. What about this? That's not scaring me as much as that. Yeah, but, but look at this. Tell me about this. What is this? Feel it. <laughs> you didn't get scared. No. It's K-Pac. It's okay. the stuff that comes out of the seed pods of the K-pot tree. Mm -hmm. They used to use it to stuff life jackets. Okay. World War II, life jackets inside. Really? Was this stuff here. We have K-pot trees all over the island. Okay. They're in front of the post office, that big tree in front of the post right, office. Right, right. K-pot tree. Okay. And that's what it produces. Right here, we have a yellow coconut. Mm -hmm. And this is a Malaysian coconut. Most coconuts you see are green. This one's yellow. Mm -hmm. This is a different species from a different part of the planet, from Malaysia. It does the same thing. It has water in it, not milk, like most people say, coconut milk. It's not coconut milk. It's water. And that's what I was talking about. That scares me a little bit. Oh, this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's extremely sharp, yeah. and it's how you really can, it's one of the, the, the best ways to get into a coconut, and you do by yeah, slicing away the husk. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, Things are flying I this have. morning. Yeah, You're are. making me flinch, we're, Lloyd. We're slicing away the husk <laughs> is what we're doing. Now, do you ever, do you ever scare people when oh. you pull out that machete? I went too deep. Right. <laughs> well, thanks for giving me a bath this okay, morning, here Lloyd. We go. <laughs> a little water. There's your water. Okay. Okay. It's crystal clear. Yeah. Very Just interesting. Hold that for a second. Oh, we're not done with it yet. Oh, okay. Can you hold, hold the it. coconut? Yep. Now we're gonna add the secret ingredient. Key lime. Ah, <laughs> the key lime. Perfectly ripe key lime, right there. We're going to give that a little slice in half, like so. Beautiful. Ah, smell that. Don't squirt I'm not me. not going to squirt it. It <laughs> smells good. good. <laughs> now you have to sing the song. You put the lime in, in the, the coconut. coconut. You drink it all. You put the lime, lime in, in the, the coconut. coconut. Call me in the morning. <laughs> put the lime in the doctor. Can you tell me what to take to relieve my belly ache? You put the lime <laughs> in the coconut. 
Call me in. You're great, Lloyd. The and, line, a, line, line, line. and you know okay. what? Our viewers can see this firsthand if they take one of your bike toys. Lloyd, it's not just for tourists. It's for locals, too. It's for everybody. For everybody. For the president. All right. We'll end this morning's show by having you oh. give me some of your coconut and lime juice. Lloyd, thank you so much for being back on Cheers. Here today. Cheers. I'll try this. Mm. It's very good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and joining me this morning. I hope that you can join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. All right. If I, 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 I could walk up.